Yo, what's up guys? It's the Mercenary. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day or evening. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, I know this one comes in short of the one I just made here and released not too long ago, addressing where I've been and why I've been absent. But this one is to address another one which deeply concerns me and I want to express my opinion on it. So what's bothered me and I need to get off my chest is I learned recently that one of my favorite content creators MMOX Review slash MXR from Skyrim Mod Reviews, Fallout, and recently Starfield, who has been more active on his MXR Plays, his MXR Plays channel got taken down and it was for reasons for a video that was made over a year ago. And because of this, it's made YouTube more of a monopoly on the platform to control and dictate as they do and wish and please their advertisers as they wish and that there greatly affects each content creator on the platform now in this particular video i'm not going based upon any kind of script so my wording of this may sound kind of like all around which is why i scripted my last one because i didn't want that to be all over but this is kind of like spitting on top of the head off the dome about my thoughts about the situation which is anything but pleasant and this is why i need to help express to maybe help uh find a solution which i know there is a solution for it, but i'll get to that here in a second now, in the light of recent news, it has come to all of our attention that each content creator is being greatly affected based upon this whole pretend family-friendly content that we need to watch what we say, what we do, what we put in our videos, the stuff uh, like the stuff we have to censor and stuff. It just it's becoming more and more disingenuous of ourselves, and it's taken away the humor that otherwise content creators would have to go on Patreon and post the full form video that otherwise would be too sensitive for YouTube to go by and I've learned this many years ago but MMO or MXR is a content creator that has great sense of humor and he's known this by posting his sensitive content over on Patreon whereas he posts his censored content on YouTube which then he links to us to his Patreon which I've never really taken seriously but now that seems to be the only platform that he can express his true creativity in terms of his art form is on Patreon because nowadays it seems like no one is in the safe anymore and that's what's concerning for us all. And unfortunately this seems to be a common trend amongst other content creators and I know some of them who are friends with YouTube employees will come across as being biased and sporting favoritism over YouTube content creators that if they've got connections to the YouTube headquarters and some of the people who work there their, their chances of getting away with something that people are being suspended uh, terminated for and which they're doing the same thing but they're getting away from it they're just like oh you know uh, everyone makes mistakes you know everyone deserves a second third chance I know you'd be begging for a second chance if this happened to you so don't be a hypocrite and pretend that you don't believe in second chances and this is the kind of opportunities that content creators who are disingenuine and do just as bad stuff in terms of like exploitation um, do all kinds of malicious stuff that shouldn't be on the platform and it's just as bad compared to people who made a bad joke on a video from some time ago and that to me seems like there's a lot of inside work going on that I don't find to be fair so this is why I'm hoping by moving over to Rumble there will be less bias, less uh, rules uh, governing everything that we do and who knows maybe Rumble will be a formal reminder of what YouTube used to be by allowing us to say the often profanic word. I know people can get really creative profanity and stuff, but you know, just not being so censored, beeped out, and you know, can't show this on YouTube or I'll get freaking terminated type of deal, that I'm hoping Rumble will be a little bit more freely to allow us to express ourselves on. Now, unfortunately with YouTube being the biggest name on the internet, not always for the good reasons, and because of this and not having no one to compete with and that they're setting the rules, they're dictating the whole show, what you can or cannot do, it kind of takes the fun of being a content creator out of its original meaning and it makes it into something that's completely phony, not true to oneself and not being able to express yourself honestly because if you, uh, if you exploit yourself and tell the truth too much, it'll be used against you. And this is where I feel that actions need to speak louder than words and by me moving over to Rumble and sharing content of what I do on YouTube and over there will help another platform grow to help YouTube learn from their pretentious selves that they need to not be so serious all the time and that there's going to be people who find another way because as Dr. Ian Malcolm from Jurassic Park says 
it's not possible. Listen, if there's one thing the history of evolution has taught us, it's that life will not be contained. Life breaks free, it expands to new territories, and it crashes through barriers painfully, maybe even dangerously, but, uh, well, there it is. So with that said, this is why I believe that having another platform to grow on will be more beneficial for everyone, and that if YouTube can learn from their mistakes and be a better platform and entity as a whole, then there is a chance at redemption for them. But right now, they're kind of so far up their own butts that they feel like what they're doing is always right. But what I have not encountered, which I don't hope to encounter, but it's been a very common trait with them, is the lack of communication with content creators that no matter if you follow them on social media, that you always have to be the one to reach out. And there's not a, a decent human resource you can go to to ask why this happened to you and what you can do to reappeal it and get back and, you know, get back into the grind of making YouTube videos. That you're stuck left wondering, when am I going to get my process uh, reviewed and have this case uh, ongoing closed finally so I can get back to doing what I do. Instead, they make you wait, if not days, if not weeks, sometimes months, and... They'll just be like, oh, I'm sorry, I totally forgot to get to you. Sorry, we've been busy with so many other more important cases than what you are trying to get us to do and expedite. Sorry, it doesn't work how you want it to. Without getting too carried away, I'm going to conclude my thoughts there, and I'll be working to make content for Rumble and YouTube so one can grow more than the other. After all, everything begins with a single step, and this would be mine. Anyway, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, like or dislike and feel free to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. What do you say? It's what I don't say that worries me. If he's alive, he'll let us know. Where and when? That's the question.